hello students in this video i'll be discussing about the surface integral now if you consider a surface s and a small surface area ds and a unit outward normal n cap so a surface integral of f is denoted as integral s f dot ds or alternately integral surface integral of f dot n cap ds now this vector n cap is the outward unit normal to the surface element ds now f dot n cap is the magnitude of f along n cap therefore f dot n cap ds would be the amount of physical quantity represented by f leaving the surface area ds therefore integral s into f dot ds this would be the flux of the physical quantity given by f to evaluate the surface integral we take the projection projection of s on coordinate plane on appropriate coordinate planes so when we take the projection of s on f dot ds when we take the projection of s on the coordinate planes the surface integral reduces to a double integral f dot n into da over some constant c now this da and c depends on the coordinate planes on which we are projecting the surface s so without going into the proof of how we get the values of da and the value of c we write the expressions for ds depending on the projection so if i have if i project s on the xy plane we get dx dy by absolute value of n dot k if 
S is projected on the yz plane, we have dy dz over n dot i and when s is projected on the xz plane the expression would be dx dz over magnitude of n dot j cap now the choice of the projection depends on the surface now if i have say a curved surface area so let's say something like i have a surface area s any arbitrary surface area in that case the projection could be on the xy plane the yz plane or the xz plane but instead if I have something like a vertical cylinder and if the evaluation has to happen on the curved surface area of the cylinder in that case xy plane would be inappropriate for the projection of s because the projection of the curved surface area would just be a circle wherein multiple infinitely many points on the same line would be pro projected onto a single point on the xy plane instead for the curved surface area so curved surface area of cylinder the better choice would be the yz plane or the xz plane so that every if i have you even if you have even half the cylinder then the points would be mapped uniquely Stokes theorem. So if S is an open surface, say bounded by a curve C, and F is a differentiable vector point function then integral c f dot drs equal to the surface integral of curl f dot ds if f is equal to m i cap plus n j cap then stokes theorem reduces to green's theorem in a plane So here obviously S would be R in the, the region R in the XY plane. Let us consider this example. So we have
the upper half of the hemisphere which is the surface edge. So the first step here would be to write the Stokes theorem. So according to Stokes theorem, integral over C f dot dr is surface integral of curl f dot ds which is curl f dot n cap ds now curl f this would be i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z 2x minus y minus yz squared minus y squared z which is minus 2yz minus of minus 2yz into i cap plus 0 minus 0 j cap plus zero minus of minus one k cap so curl f is k cap now phi is x squared plus y squared plus z squared which is a squared this implies n cap is grad phi by magnitude of grad phi which is 2x i cap plus 2y j cap plus 2z k cap over square root of 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4z squared so n cap will be xi plus yj plus zk over root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared so curl f dot n this would be z over root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared Now since we have the hemisphere in the upper upper hemisphere, so the appropriate projection would be the xy plane. Therefore, ds will be dx dy by absolute value of n dot k, which is dx dy divided by z over root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared so when we substitute the expression for curl f dot n and ds in the stokes theorem we have integral c f dot dr equal to now these two quantities they get cancelled and we are left with double integral over r let us write this so dx dy over z by root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared which is double integral over r dx dy now this is area of the region r now since you are projecting the surface 
the hemisphere on the xy plane this would be the region r and r is the circle x squared plus y squared equal to a squared therefore area of r will be pi a squared therefore integral c f dot dr is pi a squared let us consider another example to evaluate the line integral using the stokes theorem here see the circle x squared plus y squared equal to 4 in the plane z equal to 0 now this happens to be the surface S plane Z equal to 1.5 so that will be the surface S so we have X Y and z so this is z equal to 1.5 and we have a circle in the xy plane that is x squared plus y squared circle parallel to the xy plane that is in the plane z equal to 1.5 the equation is x squared plus y squared equal to 4 so technically it is just this shaded region would be the surface s not necessarily the entire surface z equal to 1.5 and the circle would be the boundary of the surface so we are talking about a circular disk so integral c f dot dr is surface integral of curl f dot n ds now curl f is i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z y x z cube minus z y cube so this would be minus 3 z y squared minus 3 x z squared i cap plus 0 minus 0 j cap plus z cube minus 1 k cap now yes is the circular disk that is shaded this implies n cap is k cap the outward unit normal which is always taken to be going away from the origin therefore we take the positive k cap as the outward unit normal so curl f dot n cap would be z cube minus 1 since we have the disk parallel to the xy plane the obvious choice for the projection would be the xy plane which is so we get ds to be dx dy by absolute value of n dot k 
so this will be dx dy so substituting for curve left dot n cap and ds in the expression we have integral c f dot dr equal to double integral over r z cube minus 1 dx dy Now z cube is given as z is given as 1.5. So we need to make use of the equation of surface to eliminate z. So integral c f dot dr is double integral over r. This is 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 cube minus 1 dx dy which is nineteen by eight double integral over r dx dy so this is nineteen by eight area of r now r is the circle x squared plus y squared equal to 4 so this would be 19 by 8 into pi into 2 squared because here radius equal to 2 units the area of the circle would be pi r squared so we have 19 pi by 2 as value of the integral.